Hi there, this is Sean Jordison, and we are going to discuss Microsoft Word 365 Basic Accessibility Principles. Accessibility doesn't have to be difficult, and I'm going to share with you the top five elements to consider when making accessible Word documents and briefly describe the accessibility checker. First up is headings. Documents should have heading styles applied. Headings need to be formatted correctly with the words built in settings and also needs to be in sequential order. Heading 1 is typically reserved for the document title. Heading 2s are like chapter titles or main topics and heading 3s are subtopics to those main topics. The heading order can be an outline. If we press the control key plus F on our keyboard, we can pull up the navigation menu. Select headings and see a breakdown of all the headings in our document. Screen readers typically search via heading levels. Skipping a level may confuse the reader, so always start with heading 1, followed by heading 2, and then heading 3. Try to stay above heading level 6. Next up is lists. Using lists helps users understand what groups of text belong in a list and how the user should interact with that list. Use bulleted lists when order is not important. An example of this would be items in a grocery store. You can add items to your cart in any order and it does not affect your checkout. Use numbered lists when order is important. You must first be at the grocery store before you can add items to your cart. So step one would be to go to the grocery store and step two would be to add items into your cart. You could not add items into your cart if you're not at the store. Finally, Use the rich content editor to apply those lists. Do not use keyboard characters like an X or a dash to imply a list. Next is alternate text. Alternate text helps users understand the significance and context of an image. The description is based on usage and context and may change based on those parameters. Your alternate text for an image might change if there is a picture of a tree or if you are studying a tree for a class, avoid using picture of or photo of in the description. This is redundant information as the screen reader will indicate to that user if it is an image. Keep alternate text to a single sentence and be sure to exclude the file format type in the file name. For complex images, use surrounding text near the image to provide additional information if needed. Next up is hyperlinks. Write descriptive hyperlinks to help screen reader users easily understand why a hyperlink is important and where the link will route them to. Be descriptful and meaningful in the text to display portion of the link. Be sure to avoid using full URLs as the link text as they make the screen reader experience difficult. Avoid terminology like click here or more info and focus more on using text like this. Check out Sean Jordison's guide on links. It is more clear and descriptive and leaves no confusion as what to the link is going to open. Finally, we have table headers. Creating data tables with columns and row headers is essential for a screen reader to navigate properly. Tables need a caption, identification of header rows, columns, or both, and try to avoid splitting rows across pages if possible, and focus on creating simple tables. Formatting content in tables is not advised and can easily be non-compliant. Screen readers use tables uniquely and have special keystrokes to access the content within. Proper formatting is essential. Once you have verified your document is compliant, run the accessibility checker. The accessibility checker presents the results in a pane on the right-hand side of the interface. It organizes the results into three categories, errors, warnings, and tips. Errors are issues that indicate content that contains an accessibility issue and is extremely challenging, if not impossible, to read or understand. Warnings indicate that the content will likely be challenging for individuals with disabilities to read or understand. Tips are pointers intended to help you improve the user experience of your audience by streamlining and organizing your content in certain ways. The accessibility checker will give you a starting point to address any errors within your document. 
That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about headings, lists, alternate text, links, table headers, and the accessibility checker. Thank you for watching.